In this video, we will demonstrate how you can conduct remote exams with SafeExam Browser. We integrated the open source video conferencing solution Jitsi Meet into SafeExam Browser. This gives you a variety of possibilities when conducting remote exams with SCB. Let me first demonstrate a typical use case step by step. In this first version, Live proctoring using the camera and microphone of the exam client devices is possible. The teacher or proctors can use a web browser or the Jitsi Meet app on an iPad to monitor students. On the left of the screen, you will see the proctor view. On the right, you see one exam candidate's iPad. I first installed SafeExam Browser from the App Store. You might already know that there are several ways how exams in SCB can be started. I'm using a special SCB link in an email. Here the candidate has to enter an exam password and now a disclaimer is displayed explaining that the current session will be remote proctored, the candidate has to confirm, and the candidate has to confirm that his or her device will be locked in the assessment mode. On the iPad on the right, the candidate now logs in to Moodle, selects a quiz language, and now attempts the quiz. While the candidate is answering questions in the quiz, we can see a green check mark is displayed on the left in the video window. But when the candidate turns their head a bit too much to the sides or up and down, then the symbol changes to an orange warning sign. These AI proctoring features are performed on device and not in any cloud. In addition to the face angle, also the number of faces is detected. So if the candidate's face disappears, a red alert symbol is displayed. The same would happen if a second face would show up in the camera picture. These proctoring state symbols are rendered onto the video stream. That's why they're visible also in a standard Jitsi Meet client. In this example, the proctoring state is also displayed in the bottom of the screen in the icon in the SCB doc uh, as feedback for the candidate, but this can be disabled. Of course, also these AI proctoring features can be disabled completely. When the exam is finished and submitted, then proctoring automatically is stopped. This is just the simplest kind of remote proctoring. I'm going to demonstrate another one. Here we have a remote exam with two modes of proctoring. First, when the students log in. They will see all the other participants in the exam and they will see the proctor. So the proctor can address students, give them some last minute instructions. And then when they are ready and log into the exam, then the mode of proctoring will change. By the way, they can move this view to other parts of the screen. They can enlarge this view and they can use features like a chat and they can ask the teacher question, for example. The proctor or teacher can then open the chat and answer questions. When students are ready, they can log into the exam. And here we're using a feature in Moodle 3.9 to reconfigure SCB. 
So as soon as this quiz configuration is loaded, in the remote proctoring mode switched. Now students don't see any video anymore and the proctor switches to a new meeting room where the candidates are again visible. So now when candidates solve exam questions, they can be remote proctored, but they themselves don't see the proctor or other students in the exam. It's easy to configure remote proctoring in SafeExam browser. You can add it to any SCB configuration. Here we first create exam settings. We enter the URL of a Moodle quiz and we enable Jitsi Meet in the new remote proctoring submenu. We need the server URL of the Jitsi server and a room name which could also be a random string. For higher security, usually when using automatically generated settings, you would use a JWT token for authenticating users on the Jitsi Meet server. We can also configure various Jitsi Meet features like the built-in chat in case the proctor or teacher wants to communicate with students. In common exam situations, high stakes exams, the proctor would see students, but students don't see the proctor or other candidates. You can control this with the settings for sending and receiving audio and video streams. As demonstrated before, SCB supports tracking number and angle of faces. You can enable these AI proctoring features in this submenu and you can also decide which detections you want to use and if candidates should receive feedback when they move their face too much to the side or their face even disappears from the camera picture. And in the end you can select if you want to display this overlay view or window which shows the camera picture with the candidate or if enabled the proctor and other candidates in the exam. Depending on the settings, students can also show or hide the view themselves using the proctoring button in the dock. In the end, you can share these settings as an SCB configuration file for starting an exam. And of course, test it. Remote exams with Safe Exam Browser are really powerful when using SCB server. On the top left you can see the SCB server web backend. So the student connects to the SCB server instance of their institution, selects the exam. SCB is now connecting um, to the SCB server and to the learning management system student logs in. In the proctoring backend on the upper left the proctor now sees the student connected. On the bottom left the proctor can watch the student in the proctoring view. And when the student is looking a bit too much to the sides, not focusing on the exam or maybe even trying to cheat, then the proctoring warning count will go up in the monitoring view. And when a predefined threshold is reached, then the proctoring warning indicator will show that there might be an issue with that student. If a student moves away from the camera completely, then immediately a proctoring error is indicated. The mentioned proctoring, warning and error thresholds can be individually configured even per exam. The integration of remote proctoring into SCB server is not yet finalized but I can demonstrate some first functionality. The big benefit of this integration is that you have to connect SCB server only once with your Jitsi Meet server 
and SCB server will then automatically create meeting rooms per exam and control other Jitsi Meet features. Here we are first opening a proctoring view for one of the two connected SCB clients. You can proctor another user. And you can proctor several users at the same time. In future, there will be options to have all candidates join one proctoring room or split them up in several rooms with an equal number of candidates with an individual proctor assigned to each of those breakout rooms. Here in the end, we use another nice feature of SCB server to quit the exam sessions on all clients and unlock the devices.